Hey guys, it is Kevin here in Japan, and you know what? I wrote a blog post today on my faraway blog about raising a bilingual child in Japan. And why did I write about that? Well, because I'm doing it. Well, at least I'm trying. Now, the thing is with parenting is that as a new parent, you basically learn through trial and error. That's how you figure out how to do things. You try, you make a mistake, and you try something else. It's that simple. You can read books. I've read books about parenting. Um, you can, you know, read daddy blogs, mommy blogs, listen to podcasts and stuff. But really, at the end of the day, and I think anyone who is a parent will probably share this, that really, you learn by doing. And, um, you know, what we're trying to do, my wife and I, my wife is Japanese and I'm a Canadian, we're trying to raise a bilingual child. So my son, um, who is still a toddler, not yet two, is starting to now develop language. And since day one, we've been, before day one, before we even had a child, we, we wanted to, we talked about, you know, when we did in the future, we would raise our child bilingual. Because um, in that way, he's gonna have something that I never had and my wife never had. She was raised unilingual, monolingual, Japanese, and only speaking Japanese. She later learned how to speak English. And I was ra raised in a completely English environment, just due to geography. Um, so, how do we do it? Well, again, through trial and error. I've talked to other people in my situation and kind of found out what they do, but at the end of the day, um, basically my wife speaks to my son in Japanese and I speak to my son in English. Now, my wife is a stay-at-home mom, so my son spends the vast majority of his day listening to Japanese, probably about 80% of his day. I don't get home from work until about 6.30 at night. He goes to bed shortly after eight. So, um, the moment I walk in the door, in the evening, it's English time, and my wife and I just speak English to each other. And I, to be honest, my Japanese skills are not very good. I'm gonna come back to that. Now, she realizes that 80% of the day is a lot in Japanese, so if she wants his English to, you know, develop as well. My wife does speak some English to him. She tries to teach him vocabulary in both languages. Now he watches um, some, only a few hours a day, but a little bit of, of, of children's television. He watches Japanese television on NHK. And he does watch some English programs, which we have on DVD and whatnot. Now, I realize that learning English through DVDs is definitely not the best way to do it. The best way to learn a language is through actual real usage. But, you know, you, you use what you got, right? Um, you know, so what... <sighs> So there we go, you know, and he's developing now. So initially he was, he first started learning English words and now the, the Japanese is really catching up and, and recently he's just gone through this incredible spurt of, of language development and he definitely understands Japanese more than English. Um, but what I've come to realize is that I've actually had to crack open the books again and start studying Japanese because soon um, I won't be able to understand what he's telling, saying to me, yeah? So, hmm, interesting. And then of course, how do we do this in the future? Well, it's gonna be an interesting thing. It depends on where we live. You know, I'm interested in heading back to Canada, and if we were to do that, we'd have a, a whole set of challenges in maintaining his Japanese. Um, maybe that's not in the cards. Maybe we will be staying in Japan, and if that's the case, then we have to really um, think about how we're gonna keep his English level, you know, decent. Um, international school, tutoring, international playgroups, I don't know. So these are a lot of interesting questions when you're trying to raise a bilingual child. Um, so a lot of, challenges and stuff but hey we're up for it um so there you go folks raising a bilingual child in japan trial and error trial and error all right guys kevin here leave a comment below and uh the link to my blog post about raising a bilingual child in japan is, is below as well are all the books the, the links to my twitter and my facebook and of course uh my book teaching asia tales in the real deal the links below to my ebook check all that out all right guys kevin here in japan gotta go hope you're having a wonderful weekend week wherever maybe when he watches. Bye.